Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers Studio Series Core Class Bumblebee Movie Shockwave. Yes, tiny little Shockwave. I don't understand why Shockwave is always a core class figure. He was a core class figure back in Combiner Wars, and now he's a core class figure here with Studio Series. I mean, come on, it's Shockwave. Now I gotta give a huge shout out to Extra Zero from the channel Figure Action for finding Shockwave for me and sending him my way. Now taking a quick look at the packaging, we got Shockwave here in robot mode, a scene from the Bumblebee movie. Shockwave there behind the Nothing. These new packages just blow my mind. Transformers, Studio Series, side of the box, Shockwave. This side of the box, Shockwave again. Back of the packaging, you got Shockwave in robot mode and tank mode. So now, without further ado, let's get Shockwave opened up out of this packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get your tiny little shockwave all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, is very well illustrated and easy to follow. And has a mistake. Shockwave's cannon is not on his right hand. And speaking of cannon, you also get his hand cannon slash tank barrel. And I like the looks of this. The paint applications look really good on it with the purple and the silver there for the barrel. And of course you get Shockwave himself. Now this figure really doesn't look that bad. I love the sculpted detail on him. Very G1 inspired. You got the yellow Cyclops eye and his ears as they call them, but I don't like how these ears are so swept back. I like them more sticking straight up like G1. It just looks off to me. But other than that, this is a really good looking figure. Lots and lots of sculpted details. I like the chest section right there. I'm not sure if that is translucent plastic or not, or just very well painted. So yeah, I, can't, I cannot figure that one out. So the chest looks really good. I'm sure Toy Hacks will slap something on there to really change it up a little bit. Makes it look a lot more G1. Moving on down, more sculpted details here. I love the tank treads. He's got tank treads there on the back of the legs and here on the forearms. Now, as you see right now, he has two fists and we are gonna fix that because Shockwave does not have two fists. You take your cannon here and it's got this little movable handle. You wanna flip that all the way up like so. And we'll put this in his left hand where it goes where it's supposed to go, get that pegged in. Now that is a tight fit. So once you get that in, now we've got Shockwave looking like Shockwave. And I like that, that is pretty cool. Just like he looked in the movie. I just wish he was bigger. Now let's go ahead and get into articulation. The head is on a mushroom peg. So all it's gonna do is rotate a 360. The arms can go up and down. 360 all the way around. There is an elbow bend, an elbow rotation. 
no wrist rotation. Let's see, no waist rotation. Legs can go forward, they can go back, they can go out, they can go in. There is a knee bend. The hips are on a ball joint, so you got a little bit of a rotation right there. The feet can go back and forth, but there's no ankle tilt. So about your basic core class articulation. So now let's go ahead and get him transformed into his vehicle mode. We're gonna pop out the cannon, put that to the side. First thing we're gonna do, go ahead and move the arms up. Now you're gonna take the legs and right here at the top of the leg, you're gonna kind of bend down and out. So he's popping a squat. Now you're gonna grab right here underneath the stomach, pull this out and flip this around. So this section right here is going to tuck in under his crotch. You'll see it tucked down and there's a little tab right there. Snap that into place. So you've got that going on. Now we're going to bend this section up. Once again, there's another little tab right there. Tab that into place. Go ahead and take the head, spin that around. Now with the arms, you need to rotate the arms around and rotate the forearms. So you got this tab. That tab is going to fit right in there in that slot. So the arms are going to be kind of hooked in at an angle. Let's see if I can get that out of the way. Do the same thing for the other arm. There we go. Got to get this leg just right because there is a tab right there on the gray part of the leg that you're going to match up to the little slot right there in the arm. See that? And do that on the other side. Let me see if I can get it on camera for you. Line your slots up. And there we go. Go ahead and fold the feet down. And now lastly, you're going to take the cannon once again. Flip the handle all the way around like so. So this section here is facing back. And now you're going to plug this handle in the back of Shockwave's head. Now, you want to be careful of that. Maybe not push it in all the way because the first time I transformed this guy, I pushed the cannon in, it was all I could do to get that cannon out. I actually had to pop Shockwave's head off in order to pull the cannon out. So that's a very tight fit. So there you got Shockwave in tank mode, and that is a weird Cybertronian tank. It looks a lot like the, um, what was it? Transformers Prime Beast Hunter Shockwave. That's what this reminds me of. Kind of, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of this tank. They could at least give him some wheels. He's got the nice molded in treads. And that's about it. Just, it's a weird looking Cybertronian tank, but nobody's going to sneak up on him because his, he's got eyes on the back of his head or the back of his head is facing back. Now, the only real articulation with the tank is the turret can rotate left and right. It can do a 360 if you lift up. It can't really go up and down much. You got just a little bit, but it kind of falls back into place. So there you go, guys. Shockwave in his tank mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Studio Series Core Class Bumblebee Shockwave with Deluxe Class War for Cybertron Shockwave. Combiner Wars Shockwave, Kingdom Core Class Megatron, and Kingdom Core Class Soundwave. Transformers Studio Series Core Class Shockwave is great for what he is. He's a representation of Shockwave from the Bumblebee movie. He just needs to be bigger. I mean, it's Shockwave. Shockwave should be a Deluxe or a Voyager Class, not Core Class. Though this core class figure does have decent sculpting, great articulation, I love the fact that blast effects can be used with the weapon. Oh, and the chest is painted plastic, not translucent. Robot mode, pretty good. Not a big fan of the alt mode. So there you go, guys. Transformers Studio Series Core Class Bumblebee Movie Shockwave. So, does a Transformers Studio Series Core Class Bumblebee Movie Shockwave belong in your collection? Well, if you're a Shockwave fan, 
or a legend scale collector, I would say yes. I mean, he's not bad. Robot mode is pretty good. He's got great sculpted details, great paint applications, great articulation. Alt mode, alt mode's a little terrible. Not a big fan of that. But, you know, he's not bad for what he is. I just really wish and hope that we get a Shockwave in Deluxe or Voyager size. I mean, come on, man. Shockwave as a core figure just doesn't cut it. We already had this issue with this guy a few years ago. So if you're just dying to get a Transformer figure, you got some money burning a hole in your pocket, and you see this guy on the shelf, pick him up. You won't be disappointed. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I gotta give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Also, Dylan and I are heading off to Big Lick Comic Con this weekend in Roanoke, Virginia, and I really hope to see some of you there. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. hoo -ah! Don't miss Big Lit Comic Con February 12th and 13th at the Berglund Center, presented by Bank of Bonneton, featuring celebrity guests LeVar Burton, Dante Bosco, and Michael Bean, Power Ranger Austin St. John, famed wrestler Al Snow, plus legendary comic creators and artists, alongside over 100 incredible exhibitors and experiences, featuring comics, games, cosplay, and so much more. Get your tickets at BigLitComicCon.com and the box office. The Big Lit Comic Con, presented by Bank of Bonneton, February 12th and 13th from Big Lick Entertainment. <laughs>